In this video, we'll be making an air filter to filter out all the fumes and smoke created when you burn flux when you're soldering. So what you'll need is a 120mm fan. I have an AC one so I can plug it straight into the wall, but you can use a DC one from like a computer too, you'll just need a power adapter. You can also get a grill for the back of the fan, but that's optional. And you also need an air vent filter, the kind you would put in the air vents in your house. So my idea for this air filter was to basically just strap on a uh, filter onto the front of this fan and that should be sufficient in uh, filtering out the fumes and just spitting out clean air again. So basically my idea is to cut a ring out that screws onto the front of this and then a ring that screws onto the front of that and I'll sandwich the filter in between the two of those. So basically all I need to do is cut out two squares that are the same dimensions as this, cut a hole in both of them, and then just work on the uh, hardware to screw it all together. After all your pieces are cut out, you're going to want to mark out an area around the piece that is two centimeters from the edge and cut out the center. Alright, so now I need some way to assemble this all. So I'm thinking of using these screws. They're a bit too long and um, they're wider than the holes in the fan are, which is unfortunate. So I might have to widen those holes. You can see they're just like a millimeter too long here. They just stick out the edge of the wood just a bit. Um, but these are the only somewhat uh, right length wood screws. Everything else I have is too short. So I'm thinking four of these, one of each, one in each corner, and then on this front plate here, I'm thinking I will glue down two bolts on the front here on each side, and then I'll drill two holes, so then this can be bolted down on front and sandwich the filter in between the two, and uh, that should be enough to create an air filter. After the pieces were shaped and all the holes were cut out, I just sprayed on a couple layers of clear coat to protect the pieces. Alright, so now I need to attach a cable to the end of this fan, because as you can see, uh, it didn't come with anything besides two wires. So I'll just be using this um, extra power cord I have laying around and just chop off the end here and should give us access to um, the inside. You can tell this is a quality power cord uh, from China because if you look, there is in fact a ground 
pin there. There is a ground pin there. Um, but if you look on the inside here, there is uh, only two wires. All right, now let's just test to see if it works. There we go, working fan. I then hot glued down the bolts into the holes that I cut out. I'd recommend you use epoxy or something stronger for this, but I didn't have any, so hot glue works fine. Okay, now all we have to do is put the whole thing together. So first take your fan grill, if you have one, it's totally optional. Placed on the back, we're going to want to put these screws through. Just put one in each corner so things stay where, they, where I want them to. And then take our front piece, put it on there. And get to screwing stuff in. All right, now that's done, you want to take your air filter, fold in half, just lay it down in there, and place the front frame, frame on. And then just thread on the nuts. There we go. There is the fan with the air filter on the front. Now let's test it out. All right, so I'm just going to put some uh, flux on this uh, piece of cardboard here. That's what we will uh, burn to make some smoke. So plug in the fan. There we go. We take our soldering iron here. Bring it up, burn it, and as you can see, despite all the smoke it's making, smoke does not come out to the other side. Isn't that neat? You can see the smoke coming in, and it's all getting trapped by the filter. So now that goes into your lungs and you don't end up with cancer. Hopefully. It also works with a rosin coarse solder here. I just bring some of that up. And apply that. Can't really see the smoke, but it is making a bit of smoke in the rosin inside the flux, inside the solder. The flux inside the solder, there we go. You can see a little bit of smoke coming off the soldering iron. And that just goes straight in. The nice clean air comes out. Alright, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more stuff from me, you can subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions of stuff that you want to see me do in the future.